We're going to jump to our the fourth of the, the four brands that we worked with in uh, one of my favorite campaigns. Um, to set a bit of context, it's it's 1971. Um, Coca-Cola, as you know, is, is like a 125-plus-year-old brand. And for the majority of its life until this campaign, it was, it was, uh, its marketing was all about function. It was the pause that refreshes, um, and it was all about the beverage. When this campaign came out, um, there was a lot of global tension, right, because you're, you're in the Vietnam era. Coke, as a brand, is di distributed in hundreds of, or over 100 countries at the time. Harvey Gabor, the art director on Coca-Cola's Hilltop campaign, um, had this idea to create the first, what he calls, United Chorus of the World. And to do this, he went over to Tuscany. He gathered the sons and daughters of, of diplomats, uh, kind of a representative sample of all different nationalities. And he put them on a hilltop, and he taught them this really basic song, I'd like to buy the world a Coke. Um, 30 second spot aired. Uh, sales, of course, went way up. Lots of positive letters to Coca-Cola and its bottling partners. Um, and it really kind of reframed the way Coke talked about its brand. It's much more than a product. Um, it's something that connects people. It's something that it's a, it's a message of, of hope and tolerance. So let's play this spot, and then we'll we'll sort of show you what happened. I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I like to teach the world to sing. Sing with me. The key takeaway here is aspiration, right? And the message, I'd like to buy the world a Coke. Um, you, of course, in, 19, in 1971, you can't buy the world a Coke. Um, you can't do that. And that uh, but it was this aspirational goal. And so what we want to do is let's jump right to the ad, because you're going to see that we embedded the actual original commercial into the ad. Um, but when we brought Harvey Gabor back to, to Google um, and with, with the whole team, we wanted to see if we could make good on a promise that was made 40 years ago. Could you actually buy the world a Coke, and could you do that using display technology? Um, and well, we were able to do that. So what Amin's going to show you here is a, a really basic banner ad. You know, we built it, sort of designed it that it could run across the web. This one is running off of a fake YouTube page. Um, but we, we devised a way using technology that you can create a banner ad that talks to offline vending machines. You can imagine that Coke has hundreds of thousands of vending machines around the world. Um, and there are ways that you can, you know, we gutted a vending machine, we put a computer in it, touch screen, we hooked it up to the internet, connected it to Google's ad server, and allowed people, in fact, allowed perfect strangers to exchange uh, video and text messages and a free Coke in real time. I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I'd like to teach the world to sing. Sing with me. That was the promise of the original ad, right? Like, spread harmony. It was not about Coke. It's just, it's sort of a similar message they have today: open happiness. So that's a theme that we're trying to carry. How do you translate it for a modern audience? And Coke, like at this point, is targeting teens. Is well, connect them, you know, in ways that makes it easy. Because, you know, guess what? Everybody interacts with Coke through a vending machine. So we're going to send one. 
It's it's in our Mountain View office in Google. I'm gonna I'm recording a message. I'm yeah. sending this to the office. Oh, so wow. with your permission, it activates the webcam on your computer. Hi guys, this is a live demo coming to you from Miami Ad School in Miami. Enjoy this Coke. So you, if you're camera shy, you're rather if you're. So if you totally screw it up, you can do it again. If you're camera shy, you can write a text message. What happens now is it, 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 it looks at your IP address for your computer, and it pulls in Google Maps, right? So it says Miami Beach. And it's going to go back to Mountain View, which is where Google's headquarters are. Street View. And that's what the physical vending machine looks like. And I want to point out something really quick. So you see this number right there, 79? That's the number of, of messages and free Cokes that are in queue in the vending machine. You can imagine that this ad is accessible across the world. And in fact, in the first weekend, we received thousands of messages for, for free Cokes. We only have a handful of machines. So it takes a little while to get through. But we've planned for that by allowing you to input your email address, and then it will send you, when someone receives your free Coke, uh, and send you a message back, a thank you note. So I'm just going to show you what one of these messages actually looks like. These are real. Thanks for the coke from Cape Town. That entire transaction takes about 10 seconds. Recording a video, compressing, uploading, downloading it into the machine, and then, well, once the person starts receiving, and then, then the whole transaction back. Includes moderation, so there's no chat roulette uh, being played with vending machines. So. And then, of course, you're given the op opportunity to share it, whether it's on G+, you can email it, it goes to YouTube. Something that's really important is that, yes, like technology-wise, it's really cool. And like what we did when we started figuring this out, we were like, oh my God, that's amazing. We can do it to vending machines and all this stuff. And I think to go back to the idea of, I'd like to buy the world of Coke and keep it company and make, and, and about uniting the world, that, that was always at the core of what we did. Yes, it's cool that we send Cokes around the world, but we're connecting people. We're making a difference. We're bringing people together. Um, and I just take one example is that I was going through kind of the messages that we had received and there was a message from a guy in Namibia and he typed out, he, sent, he decided to send his Coke from Namibia to Cape Town and he wrote a message that said, here's to the future that our two countries can once at some point get along and we can share a Coke together. I hope you enjoy it. And that in of itself, we've done our job. We did this thing that we wanted to do. We proved it because we made two people that didn't know each other talk to each other, become friends, and put, put aside any barrier that they may have had. It didn't matter what race they were, what language they spoke. We were able to, over one simple gesture and click in one banner ad, unite two people. So I think that's the biggest, the biggest takeaway is that through this work, you can do really important things. And you always have to remember what your insight is and that ours was to connect the world. And let's show you what happened when we actually put three of these machines around the world in Buenos Aires, Cape Town, and New York. Hello, I 
Argentina. Here's a small gift from me. I'm Nelly from Cape Town. Bye. Nelly, de Cape Town, mando un beso de Buenos Aires. Espero que la pases tan bien como yo. Oh my god, that's so great. What Google did was very creative. They said, what would happen if we married the best of the old and the best of the new? No one ever did that before. <laughs> Still pretty good. Thank you, guys. Did you